Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying regrouping with four digit numbers. Let's try subtraction then. And six minus eight here in the ones. I cannot do it, so I regroup. Okay? Take one of the tens, leaving four tens here. And then in the ones, you remember how this is done, we have now 16. 16 minus 8, 8. 4 minus 2, 2. And then here in the hundreds, I have 0 minus 2. So again, I need to regroup. Take one of the thousands, leaving 4,000. And over here I get 10, 10 hundreds. And then 10 minus 2 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. All right, let's try another one. Or you try it on your own before I explain it, okay? Start in the ones. 3 minus 7. Can't do, so we will regroup. Get one of the tens, the only ten. Leaving zero tens, and then 13 here. 13 minus 7, 6. Now the tens. I cannot subtract, so I need to regroup. But there are no hundreds, so I need to go all the way to the thousands. Okay, leaving 5,000 here, and then 10 hundreds, and then I take one of the hundreds, leaving 9 hundreds, and then getting 10 here. And now I can subtract everything 10 minus 2, 9 minus 2, and 5 minus 3. Regrouping with zeros might need more practice, okay? Let's do one more of those kind. What are you saying? Oh, you want to come and do all the... Okay, go ahead. We have 7 minus 9, yes. We need to go and regroup. Take a thousand, right? So, what do we get? Over here? Yep, 7,000. Over here? 10 hundreds. But it doesn't stop there. Now we need to take one of the hundreds. Okay, cross that dot too. Leaving nine hundreds and ten tens. And still one more time, regroup. Cross out those. Leaving nine tens. And then over here we get 70 ones. Now, subtractions. Here's eight. Oh, lots of eights. All right. Did we get that right? Let's check. Do you remember how to check subtractions? Of course, by adding, and you can copy this number over, 2,119. And then you can copy your answer over here on top, ready for adding. All right. 8 plus 9, 17. Then over here we get 10. Over here we get 10. And here we get 8. And now lastly, you compare, is this the same as here, 8007? Yes, it is. All is well. Here are two subtractions. How do we solve that one? Now, in subtraction, you cannot put all three numbers like that under each other and do something, like you could in addition. In subtractions, you have to do one subtraction at a time, and we need to start with this particular one, because it's in parentheses. Yep. So 2,512 minus 815. 2 minus 5, that you cannot do, so regroup right off the bat. And leaving 0 here in the tens and 12 here. And then again 0 minus 1, can't do that. Regroup, so 4 here, 10 here. And then lastly, 4 minus 8, you cannot do, regroup, leaving 1 here, 14. So we get 6 and 1. And now we do the second subtraction, see, 7000 minus that. We have only done this part, so don't stop there. Okay, we've done that and we've found the answer for that. Now we go 7000 
minus 1697. Okay, lots of zeros once again. 0 minus 7. Cannot do it, so you regroup. Over here 6 and over here 10. And again, leaving 9 here, 10 here. And again, leaving 9 here, 10 here. You get this string of 10s here, 9s, every time there's lots of zeros and regrouping. 10 minus 7, oh that's 1, 2, 10 minus 7. Then 9 minus 9, 9 minus 6, and 6 minus 1. Okay, so that's the final answer. Now here a farmer buys hay for $1,255 and chicken feed for $587. Then he also gets a $350 discount. Discount means that they take that much off the price. What's his total cost? He buys two things and he gets a discount. So that means we need to add and then we need to subtract, take part of the price off. We need to add these two numbers, then subtract 350. Okay, let's get to work. And you need to be also careful that you are adding when you need to add and subtracting when you need to subtract, okay? Many times children can make the simple mistake of subtracting and adding in the wrong places. 5 plus 7, 12. Then here we have 13 and 1, 14. And here 8, and here 1. And now we subtract, okay, from this number, 350. 2 minus 0, 2. Ha, ah, I didn't need to regroup <laughs> once in the lesson. 4 minus 5, okay, well here we do need to. Leaving 7 here, 14 here. And then 9 and 4 and 1, okay. So this is his total bill for the animal foods. And we're all done with this lesson.